Woke up today, got carpet installed in the addition, so that's a plus. It feels like a bedroom now. Uh, but I need to get some tea work done. So as you saw, I got these guys in there. Uh, I saw a really good approach and departure angle, as you can tell. Uh, this is mainly so that I can smash the back of Trent's Jeep because I have a vengeance for him. Not really, but I'm gonna work on this. I'm not going to be working on all the cool pretty stuff like, you know, that just aesthetically pleasing shit because if I do a bunch of crazy cool stuff that looks awesome, I still have a huge 15 row derail transmission cooler for my steering cooler. And then I have a 30 row G-Force electric transmission cooler for my transmission. And these things are huge and I gotta stuff them somewhere. So, they gotta go in here. The problem is, these things are massive. These are big fucking tires. They're cool, but they're stupid. And they take up a lot of fucking room. I'm gonna work on getting these ones built here to there. Tie this node, node in nice. Uh, so I got there, a curved one over the cowl. I originally was gonna do for over the hood, but my hood, they would have to stick super far off the windshield and everything in order for it to clear wipers and the hood. Now it won't clear the hood. I did the old Honda Civic mod. But, um, so I'm gonna tie one in from here to here. That'll help contain this node. And then this node to there. I should help hold this in. That's all gonna be tied together going across. And then my plan is to chop this, probably pretty close to right here, right here. Uh, put some tube clamps on there, sleeve this with two inch, and then I'm going to build an actual center section hood that will be all tubed out. I'm gonna cut my hood, tack it, glue it, whatever I need to do to whatever I build in the center of this. That way I can flip it up this way towards me and work on it still. And then when I need to take it off, I can undo the tube clamps, pull the whole hood and everything off. And I should be able to still pull the motor out with this one here. <clears throat> if not, I can always take these giant tires off and set it on the ground and then I can definitely get it off. So with all that, um, I got some work to do. seat bracket stuff uh, it's all tied in together this is gonna be adjusted to where I want it that way I can adjust it so it doesn't hit anything up here gotta have my cup holder will be there um, but yeah it's all it's all in and mounted good and solid uh, works like working on the gauges uh, at a later date, I got the whole center bezel, uh, wood grain actually. Still got the glove box, and the ECU is actually, can't see it, but it's tucked up underneath here, 
And then I utilized this to my advantage. Got the fuse panels and the whole circuit set up for the one you see. So these are what make it run. There's a lot of shit in here. Uh, I did it the best I could. Built this little plate. It's all mounted in there. And uh, obviously tucks away pretty nice. But um, yeah, so I think this is all constant on power. Obviously power in. And then all these fuses are powers out to the relays. And then this is key on power. And uh, these are all fused key on outs, obviously. So that turned out well. Pretty happy with that. It took a long time. Also, it turns out, <laughs> so my buddy Doug and I spent two days, two and a half days working on that. And uh, got it all in there. Went to crank it to get it to start. And it wouldn't start. Uh, every once in a while it would kind of spit a little bit, but it wouldn't do anything. And I was losing my mind. So I uh, went to bed. <laughs> Woke up the next day, and I was about to rip all this out and wire it up. Uh, how you can, just to get you by basically, uh, just needs like power. You need to trick the um, ECU and the thing the fuel pump's kicked on so it'll run properly. There's a couple tricks to making it happen just to get you by. Uh, basically, it's the way you test things. And after all that work, I was about ready to just run it like that. I was getting pissed. So then the next day I came back out here and I got a voltage gauge and I checked the voltage. Key on, it was about 12 and a half, 13. And as soon as you go to start it, it would drop down to about five. And it wasn't enough to kick on all the relays. Only the first two were kicking on, which the first one kicks on the circuit open which sends power to these two. And then this is the fuel pump relay, but these two actually work together. So one sends a signal back to the ECU, one actually sends the power to the fuel pump. So it was kicking all these on, but the fuel pump wouldn't kick on. And uh, that was obviously causing issues. So put a new battery in it, works great. What are the odds? So that was nice. All that hard work and stuffing it in there and I'm actually able to use it. And the ECU is actually underneath it. Uh, almost where the factory spot is. If you know where the third gen 4Runners are, they kind of slide underneath um, the airbag. About right here. They'll slide up in there and they go way back there. But they're also, I don't know, half the size of a 1UZ ECU. 1UZ ECU. Um, so that was a challenge to make that fit and then keep the glove box and the plate above it with the light on it. But I got all that in there and uh, yeah, so that's nice. It started for you, but it's kind of tore apart right now and I don't want to do it right now. So it'll make uh, another video on that of it running. It's really loud and it's obnoxious because it's just open headers, which are eBay headers. But uh, yeah, it still sounds good. It's still a 1UZ. Boom. Can't even tell. But yeah, and then also all the wiring. So I don't know if you noticed, but I ripped everything out from underneath the engine bay because I don't like that fuse block that sits in there and all that crap. Uh, so trying to make sure that I still had all the amenities that I have in here, uh, like windshield wipers for my windows to roll up and down, dome lights to work, the door locks to work, the heater to work, the radio to work, uh, tail lights to work, turn signals and all that stuff. That was a chore, um, but I got it figured out. So I have no wires underneath the hood except for the engine harness, which pops out of the firewall and goes all over the engine. And that's it. So that's nice for now. Anyways, I got all the gauges and stuff to run like that and headlights and whatever other stupid crap that I do up there, but it's nice to clean up that giant ball of crap that's usually just stuffed in the wheel well. Uh, there's a lot of shit in there, and I hate it, so, so I got rid of it. But yeah, so this is 
This is where I'm at right now. Um, tubing's getting there. Tomorrow I'm going to pick up that other piece that I need uh, and hopefully get it cut, get everything built and tacked into place so I can burn it all in and clean it up, paint it, and uh, go from there. So, catch you on the flip side, guys.